Hey everyone, this was supposed to be a later video. Uh, it was supposed to go. Like, I have a list of video topics I want to talk about, but this one's uh, recently uh, two mentors I've had that have really helped me uh, understand a little bit what it means to be a mentor and how to help people correctly. And I just really want to share uh, some of the ideas from them and say, like, they're doing it right, and to also help you guys out there that are going to be helping other individuals, that are going to be mentoring other individuals. And it's just going to be a quick, two little hints, or two topics, two uh, you know, ways to really make sure you're impacting their, their lives in terms of people you're mentoring. Uh, first thing, it's great to be motivational, but at the same time you have to be helpful. So if you are uh, help people in weightlifting it's really cool to be like yes you can do it you know two more one more that's great stuff but at the same time you need to be able to help people do the you know do the workout correctly so help with form help with all that in terms of even if you have to like you know push people in a certain way or help them feel what it feels like to do something correctly because perfect practice makes perfect it's not about just practice. You have to be able to do it. Uh, you know, every single time you do it incorrectly, you're actually kind of pushing yourself the other direction. So, uh, one of my mentors recently, uh, she's really good at just making sure that when I do something, uh, I'm doing it in the correct, like the correct manner. Uh, the second big thing, and this is huge. Um, this, well, there's gonna be three actually. This one's pretty simple. Like, just make sure that you're leading by example. Like, if you're if you're trying to teach a, cer a few certain steps, you should also be following those steps in your day to day life. And don't do this, do as I say, not as I do type of thing. That just doesn't work. It, it's just not a good way to show people. Like, it seems almost weak actually. It's like, oh, you're not actually following even what you preach. The third thing make it fun and make sure that you're actually you know working with them even if it comes down to making a decision for them to do something I'll give you an example I'm, I'm recently going through an extra set of classes uh, for a new skill set I'm learning and I was really nervous today about taking a test eventually the person just kind of started setting things up for me to take the test it was an actual practical test I'd be doing what I like the actual skill set so it was just it dawned upon me real quick that he just put it into place said okay we're doing this and even though i was nervous all day i probably did like pre-study for four hours he knew that i was ready for what i wanted to get done he knew that i was going to be able to pass the test and without him i might not have done the test today i'm a pretty confident guy and even then sometimes you need that help from someone to to come in and actually help you get it done so those are the couple things uh, there's obviously more but those are the three big ones uh, definitely show people how to practice perfectly second thing uh, lead by example third thing just sometimes you just gotta push people into not being comfortable get them out of their comfort zone it, it's a huge thing it's I can't stress it enough and that's all uh, if you guys want more tips uh, some of the things I've done in terms of helping people um, let me know uh, Comment down below and think you know, like subscribe. That'd be great. It'd really be appreciated because it's you know, still pretty small and I just love helping people You know get better every day and that's the that's the process here uh, This is all the things Once again, hope everyone's having a great day and I'll talk to y'all soon